assalamu alaikum we started our discussion on control systems with the statement that control systems are very important they find applications in many industrial processes uh, so to control a process we need to know its uh, behavior and uh, we learned how to describe behavior of physical processes by mathematical model uh, then we learned how to describe the design specifications these were described in terms of transient specifications and steady state characteristics and then we uh, studied uh, the root locus based design technique to design controller for physical systems to achieve uh, the design characteristics uh, root locus based technique is also called time domain uh, technique because uh, over there time domain specifications were uh, provided to us that is the settling time rise time and overshoot etc so that design technique is called time domain design technique there is another design technique which is called uh, frequency domain analysis and design technique and now we shall talk uh, we shall learn some basics of frequency domain analysis and design technique uh, to be able to understand all those uh, concepts frequency domain analysis and design concepts uh, we shall start with uh, the description of few plots there is body diagram uh, polar plots and Nyquist plots and then we shall uh, apply these plots for the analysis and design of control systems in frequency domain uh, in today's uh, discussion we shall learn how to obtain body diagram uh, for uh, different transfer functions what is its use in control system that will be studied later so if you are given with a uh, transfer function g of s uh, s you know is a complex number s is sigma plus j omega if we substitute s equal to j omega in this transfer function this is called frequency response of a system this uh, j omega j is a, uh, this is a com uh, com this g of j omega is a complex number and you know that complex numbers uh, can be uh, represented in magnitude uh, of the complex number and the phase angle of complex number so body diagram is basically plot of the magnitude of this complex function and angle of this complex function in two different graphs that is uh, we have uh, uh, frequency axis and the magnitude of this uh, g of j omega is plotted on one graph and uh, again the angle of this uh, complex function g of j omega is uh, plotted as a function of frequency in body diagrams uh, here we generally take uh, uh, logarithmic scale it is not a linear scale on x-axis that is if we start uh, for example from 0 0.1 uh, here is 1 and 10 and 100 so you can see that it is not a linear scale, scale it is logarithmic scale why do we select uh, logarithmic scale on this axis the reason is that uh, with this logarithmic scale we can cover wide range of frequencies in a smaller scale that is uh, uh, here from 0 0.1 to 100 in a uh, smaller scale another advantage of this logarithmic scale is that uh, uh, generally for systems we are more interested in uh, their low frequency behavior and here low frequency behavior is magnified that is this uh, range of frequency from 0 0.1 up to 1 uh, is covered in the same space as uh, this frequency and uh, from here to here uh, enlarged so smaller uh, frequencies are magnified and larger frequencies are represented in more compact way uh, on the vertical axis we also uh, have uh, we do not plot the magnitude rather we plot the log of the magnitude uh, what is advantage of this log again larger magnitudes can be represented in compact way there is another advantage uh, we shall also see that later uh, so we start with the border diagram of simple transfer functions and then we shall talk about uh, how to sketch 
uh, body diagram for complex uh, transfer functions. Uh, let's uh, start with the simple transfer function uh, g of s is equal to s so g of j omega is equal to j omega magnitude of this complex number g of j omega magnitude is simply equal to omega and if we represent uh, this magnitude in uh, dBs then uh, there is uh, 20 log of uh, omega that is in dBs uh, phase angle of this complex number g of j omega uh, for this complex number this always has phase angle of 90 degrees so phase plot is simple uh, here is 0 degrees and here is 90 degrees for all frequencies phase angle is 90 degrees so how to sketch this thing for example uh, for frequency uh, omega uh, equal to 0 0.1 so log of 0 0.1 is uh, minus 1 and uh, multiplied by 20 so we have minus 20 db minus 20 db for frequency equal to uh, 1 uh, log of 1 is 0 so we have uh, this point so the uh, this uh, graph for magnitude plot for uh, this transfer function is given by a straight line uh, minus 20 db is 0 and here it is 20 db so this line is called uh, the slope of this line is 20 db per decade the frequency from 0 0.1 up to 1 is 1 decade similarly from 1 up to 10 here is 1 decade and the rise uh, in one decade, ma rise in magnitude in one decade is 20 degrees. So, next uh, we talk about uh, the body diagram for another transfer function. G of s is equal to 1 over s. So, its magnitude uh, g of j omega that is equal to 1 over j omega, which is the same as minus j into 1 over omega. So, magnitude of g of j omega is uh, 1 over omega uh, in dBs uh, 20 log of absolute value of g of j omega that is 20 log of 1 over omega and uh, we can see we know that log of 1 over omega is the same as minus log of omega so minus sign over here minus 20 log of omega the phase angle of this complex number g of j omega that is equal to uh, minus 90 degrees for all frequencies so if we plot the magnitude plot, magnitude uh, plot uh, 20 log of g of j omega if we start uh, this we cannot start this graph from zero uh, we have to start it from some finite uh, non-zero frequency of uh, from non-zero frequencies uh, so there here is 0 0.1 1 10 and 100 so uh, the magnitude uh, at this frequency log of 0 0.1 is minus 1 minus 1 multiplied by 20 so we have 20 dBs over here this is and uh, then uh, magnitude for omega equal to 0 is uh, 0 in dBs and for omega equal to 10 log of 10 is 1 and 1 multiplied by minus 20 is minus 20 so here uh, minus 20 dBs so this uh, straight line and then we extend it so the, the slope of this line is minus 20 degrees per decade and for the phase plot uh, phase angle is minus 90 degrees for all frequencies here this axis is frequency axis so minus 90 degrees for all uh, frequencies 
Now let's talk about the Bode diagram of this transfer function uh, 1 over uh, s uh, 1 plus s over a uh, its uh, frequency response is obtained by substituting s equal to j omega so s equal to j omega which is 1 plus j omega over a and uh, then the magnitude of this complex number that is equal to square of the real part uh, plus square of the imaginary part whole square root and uh, in degrees it becomes 20 log of the magnitude of this complex number that is equal to 20 log of 1 plus omega square over a square and uh, now utilizing this property of uh, log log of x power a that is equal to a into log of x we have a uh, log of uh, this whole power 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 multiplied by log of this thing so that is 1 by 2 multiplied by 20 is 10 and log of 1 plus omega square over a square uh, in many cases we do not need accurate uh, a body diagram if we want to have accurate body diagram we have to substitute each value of frequency and obtain its corresponding magnitude however in many cases we do not require that uh, even a simple uh, asymptotic uh, plot will work so we split this uh, frequency uh, into two regions there is a very low frequencies uh, for very low frequencies, this magnitude is 10 log of uh, 1 because uh, this part uh, is uh, omega over a is less than 1, its square will be still lesser. So that is simply equal to 0. At low frequencies, magnitude uh, in dB is, is equal to 0. At high frequencies, when omega is greater than a, then uh, this expression becomes 10 log of this term now greater than 1 its square will be still much greater than 1 so we can just uh, omit uh, this uh, part and this is equal to 20 log of omega over a which is the same as 20 log of omega minus 20 log of a so the graph of uh, the magnitude plot at low frequencies uh, for frequency less than a the magnitude uh, is equal to 0 degrees and then uh, the magnitude at high frequencies is uh, uh, this is equation of a straight line with slope of 20 uh, so here we have 20 degrees per decade that is uh, at uh, uh, this frequency 10 multiplied by a this uh, magnitude will be equal to 20 degrees this frequency omega equal to a that is called the cardinal frequency uh, and this is the magnitude plot for this transfer function for the phase plot uh, uh, phase angle of this complex number is equal to uh, again at uh, we can split uh, the frequency into low frequencies uh, and uh, into a high frequency region at low frequency region uh, this part is uh, negligible so we have one uh, the real number and the angle of real number uh, positive real number is uh, zero and uh, uh, at high frequencies this part can be ignored and we have an imaginary number and the angle of imaginary number is 90 degrees so uh, generally what we do is uh, we this is the corner frequency and at low frequencies, uh, the behavior, uh, the angle is zero and at higher frequencies, angle is plus 90 degrees. So what we do is we start 
one decade before the uh, this corner frequency that is 0.1 multiplied by a we start from this point and then uh, here is 10 multiplied by a uh, so at higher frequencies the phase angle is 90 degrees at low frequencies it is zero so so this is how a uh, body phase plot is sketched a body uh, phase plot is sketched for this transfer function at low frequencies angle is zero at high frequencies angle is plus 90 degrees and then in intermediate frequencies uh, this uh, uh, is uh, depicted by a straight line rule of thumb is start uh, point uh, one decade below the corner frequency and one decade after the corner frequency this asymptotic body diagram will be uh, very uh, near to the actual body diagram for a transfer function next uh, body diagram for uh, this transfer function g of s uh, g of j omega is equal to uh, 1 over uh, 1 plus s over a the magnitude plot uh, for uh, this is if you substitute s equal to j omega we have 1 plus j omega over a so magnitude plot of this is uh, equal to uh, 1 over 1 plus omega square over a square and then in log scale 20 log of g of j omega that is equal to 20 log of uh, 1 over 1 plus omega square over a square which is the same as minus 20 log of 1 plus omega square over a square here this factor becomes uh, similar to the uh, transfer function which we considered earlier the only difference is negative sign over here therefore uh, for low frequencies uh, the magnitude will be zero at higher frequencies it will drop with a slope of minus 20 degrees per decade so the body magnitude plot for this transfer function we have zero magnitude at low frequencies and then a drop of minus 20 degrees per decade at higher frequencies uh, about uh, for the phase angle uh, at higher frequencies what is the phase angle phase angle is minus 90 degrees at higher frequencies at lower frequencies phase angle is zero so what we do is we start one decade before the corner frequency uh, and then uh, end uh, one decade after the corner frequency so phase plot for minus 90 degrees so this is phase plot for this transfer function uh, in the next lecture we shall talk about uh, the body diagram for quadratic factors and body diagram for more complex transfer functions